open up. It's me. Uh, it's Ander. Let me in. We need to talk. Am I going to... No. I'm not going to do anything bad to you. Just let me in, or I'll let myself in. <sighs> really? You think locking it will really keep me out? No, I'm not going to break the door down. <laughs> What's with those faces, you dorks? Surprised? Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have the master key to all the rooms on campus. Including your little computer hideaway. Hey, don't freak out, dorks. I am not going to do anything. I just want to chat. Honestly, I thought you two would be more mad to see me, not scared. I don't know. What don't I know? No, I haven't checked my email. I normally don't need to. Why? What did you two do? Oh. So, you sent me a file that would brick my phone or computer. If I open that. Well, I'm glad you're being honest with me. Had I opened that, hmm, the mood would be very different, and the outcome of this, <laughs> more one-sided. But I don't want to stand around all day. Where can we sit? Oh, of course you have bean bags. Why is it always the nerds and the stoners? Okay, you two, sit down with me. I want the two of you to keep your honest streak up. How much do you know? <laughs> Don't play stupid. I haven't exactly tried hiding what I'm doing, and you two actively monitor the school. You notice when someone isn't going to the right classroom. Most people here are too self-absorbed, oblivious, or stupid to notice anything going on. But I know you two aren't. So tell me, what do you dorks know about my fun little project? Hmm, that's not bad. It's close, but not correct. I guess that doesn't surprise me. You only have tiny portions of the story. Keeping in the theme of honesty, I'll explain the role you two play. Huh? Sounds good, right? Great. You don't really have a choice, as you are aware with the last two. So, what you got right? Yes, the King Jock and the Queen Bee are my little toys. My playthings. My puppy and bunny, respectively. I believe they're enjoying each other's company at the moment. At least I told them to. And I have a whole list of people to go through. You two just happened to be next. And honestly, it's much better if I approach you early, if I came after corrupting and fixing all the others. Well, you probably would have been harder to work with. Contrary to your belief, I'm not doing this for myself. 
as much as building a harem or whatever sounds appealing to most men, I don't care for it. I'm happy with what I have. Honestly, any more and it would be a nightmare to control. The two I have already are rabid animals. Everyone on this list is a troublemaker. One that can't simply be removed. It's as simple as that. I won't say who I'm working with or why, but put simply, it is what it is. I just do it, and eventually, I'll see what happens at the end. Now, let's talk about your place in all this. You two are little shitheads. Yes, you're incredible at what you do. Yes, we can't expel you because of your parents. And grades. Yes. I have a plan for you. You know what you did. Or oh, the multiple things you've done. DDoSing the school. Making all the security cameras accessible through Google. Leaking everyone's files onto the internet. Oh, just so many annoying things. It has to stop. It's fun to be a troublemaker. But can't you two, like, I don't know, hack a foreign government or something cool like that? Messing with a local school is so boring, especially for people on your skill level. What's my plan for you? Oh, well, I am glad you asked. I don't plan on training you to, breaking you, or whatever. No, this one is easy. In fact, it is almost stupid. How basic it is. I want you to find new hobbies. Well, one new hobby in particular. I understand that the two of you are reclusive, shy, socially incompetent. But it's at a point where others are begging you two to open up. I understand you nerds are emotionally inept, incapable of explaining or expressing yourselves aside from angry outbursts at a game. That's why I'm here, and why I am being honest with you. Because we're going to be honest with each other today. Alright, you two. Shift your... Um... Bean bags. I want you to face each other. There you go. Now, I want you to, without saying anything, look each other in the eyes. Ah, oh, don't look at me like that. Yes, 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 I know, it's intimate and scary. You two have known each other your whole lives. What is there to be afraid of? Go on, look at each other. Let your barriers fall. Pretend I'm not here, and I'm just a voice guiding you. You two have been friends since you were literal babies. You've grown up together, learnt together, become closer together, and yet you don't admit the truth to each other. Both of you know it, having admitted it to yourself. Everyone else knows it, sees it, and is just begging for you two to make that last step. I want you to speak your feelings for each other. Be honest with yourself. And them. 
Boy, you go first. Every thought that crosses your mind, every emotion you feel when you see her, tell her. You can take your time. Breathe slowly. Work your way through the words. Good boy. You stumbled a bit, mixed your words up, but you did well. No, no, don't look at me, look at her. Now, miss, I want you to look at him. Everything you're feeling, express that to him. Just breathe out if you need to. It can be a hard thing to confess to someone. There you go. Good girl. Tell me, what is something the two of you have wanted to do for a long time? Hug. Oh. Wait, so you're telling me you've been friends for this long and you've never even hugged? <sighs> okay, well, now is the best time. Embrace each other. Share how you feel while you hold each other. You two do make a cute couple. Two nerdy ass dogs just loving it up in a computer haven. So, do you feel better? A weight thrown off your chest? Hmm, good. But that isn't enough, is it? <laughs> you might just keep your antics up. It might even make it worse now that you're more connected than before. How about you just target a new school? Or a corporation? Anything. There isn't any need for it to be a local or whatever. I'm just asking you to stop harassing the folks on campus. I'm not asking you to stop in general. Oh, I know. In exchange for you two behaving, how about I teach you how to properly love each other? Too fast? <laughs> oh, you two are so easy. Look at both of you. Blushing. Squirming. Back to avoiding eye contact. How much have you thought? thought about each other that way. Every week, all day, at night. <laughs> oh, you nerds are too easy. I love it. No, I take it the two of you are beyond inexperienced. Never having laid your hands on another person. Fuck, you didn't even hug before today. Yeah, I, I'd say I'm pretty experienced at this point. I can teach you too so, 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 so much. So, my desperate, needy nerds. What do you say? We cross the line you two have dreamed about crossing for so long. You both have to agree on it. Hmm. Good. Good. I'd rather not do it in a messy, trashed computer dungeon. Meet me in my place. No, I'm not on campus anymore. I... Acquired a new home. We have all the privacy and comfort in the world. 
Meet me at... Oh, I don't know. Seven tonight? That will give us enough time. I'll see you dorks then. And for the patron shout-out, in the Corrupted Bot tier, we have Elvin Semi, Walter Crow, Devon, Dragons R Gaming, Kate, and the Sleeping Nightingale. And in the Damaged Bot tier, we have That Inky Kid 15. Thank you all so much. Your support and continued support means so much to me.